welcome to the ICSE Class 8 Maths Tutorial. The topic is Algebraic Expressions and Identities. Before we start, I have a share of two lines. Share Kata. Banake ik nai manzil guzar gaye hoti. बनाके एक नई मंजिल गुजर गए होते जिधर कोई नहीं जाता उधर गए होते जिधर कोई नहीं जाता उधर गए होते मैं बेवफा हूं तो वो क्यों नजर चुरा के गए मैं बेवफा हूं तो वो क्यों नजर चुरा के गए जरा मिला के नजर से नजर गए होते जरा मिला के नजर से नजर गए होते बहाना चाहिए गुलशन में डरने वालों को बहाना चाहिए गुलशन में डरने वालों को न होते खार तो फूलों से डर गए होते न होते खार तो फूलों से डर गए होते खार मींस कांटे थैंक यू ओके द क्वेश्चन इज द क्वेश्चन इज डिवाइड दिस डिवाइड दिस 12x3 17x2 Plus 26x minus 18. Divide this by this. 3x square minus 2x plus 5. That is the question. This is your question. The question is. Yeah, divide uh, 12x cube minus 17x square plus 26x minus 18 by 3x square minus 2x plus 5. All right. So, and by, yeah, by 3x square minus 2x plus 5, this is divisor, this is dividend. Now we have to find out quotient and remainder, and there will be the answer. Okay. Normally what we do when we divide, see, for example, uh, uh, 46 is there. What we do? We see uh, in short, I'm telling you, we uh, write 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4, subtract, and then we copy this 6, and then 2, 3 the 6. Similar thing we are going to do, we are going to write down here one term in such a way that when we multiply this and this, we get this, right? 4, 4 or less than 4, right? So, similarly, here we are going to choose a you, we are going to find out the term here, maybe x cube, x square, 2x, so that when we multiply this and this, we get, we, we see the first term, we get 12x cube, 12x cube. The remaining term, what we are getting, that is not important. Important is we should get 12x cube. Okay, so now tell me, this is your divisor, 3x square minus 2x plus 5, by if I multiply this by suppose, suppose I'm multiplying by uh, uh, this by uh, 2x, suppose, suppose I'm multiplying this by 2x. So what am I going to get? 2x into 3x squared. So 2, 3 is a 6. We want 12. So this, that means we should not multiply by 2x. Alright. So okay, let me check by, we want 12, no? We want to so 3 4 are. So if we multiply by 4x, suppose we are multiplying by 4x. So what are we getting? 4 3 is 12. And then x into x squared, that gives you x cube. So that means x has to be there. Because if you don't write down here, if you are multiplying only by 4, then you will get 4 3 is 12 x squared. You want x cube. So that's why I am writing x also here. So 4x. When we multiply by 4x to this. Uh, divisor, the first term 12x cube we should get. That is important. So now we are getting 4 3 is a 12 and x into x squared is x cube. So 12x cube we are getting. Let us write down 12x cube. 12, 12 and then x cube. Alright. And then after that, after that we have to multiply. See, this is in brackets. So we have to multiply the entire thing. This polynomial, right? each and every term by this 4x. So first term we multiplied, we have written 12x cubed. What about this? When we multiply minus 2x by 4x, we get 4 to the 8. 
plus into minus is minus. So minus and 4 to the 8 and then x into x, x squared. So minus 8x squared. I hope you agree with this. Minus 8x squared. Got it? Clear? Minus 8x squared. Now what about this when, when we multiply this 5 by 4x? So 4, 5 is the 20x. So plus 20x. Plus 20x. Plus 20 and then x. Okay. We multiply. Fine. We multiply. Now after that what we do? We subtract. We subtract. So here also let us subtract. And when we subtract, we change the sign. We change the sign. So there, here there is nothing. Means plus. So that plus will become minus. Here there is minus. So this becomes plus. Here there is already plus. So that becomes minus. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. We are multiplying by 4x. No? So that 4x we should write down here. We should write down here 4x. We should write down here 4x. We are multiplying by 4x. Huh? Don't forget to write down here because sometimes what happens, you do all the calculation like I was doing and then you forget to write down there. The first time only you write down here 4x. Once you decide that you are going to multiply by 4x, then you please write down 4x there. Okay. Now you subtract. So 12x cube and 12x cube, they cancel each other. Minus 17x square plus 8x square. Now this is plus 8x square. So minus 17 and plus 8. That gives you, I guess, 9x squared. Minus 9x squared. You are getting minus 9 and x squared. Minus 9x squared. Alright. And 26x minus 20x. So 26 minus 20 gives you plus 6x. So plus 6x. Plus 6x. Alright. And then minus 18 you are copying down. Minus 18 you are copying down. Fine. That's fine. Now you want minus x squared. So by what term, which term you should multiply this entire thing so that you get minus 9x squared. So if you multiply by minus 3, are you going to get minus 9x squared? Minus 3. We want minus 9x squared. So if we multiply this entire thing by minus 3, are we going to get minus 9x squared? Yes, minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 in x squared. So minus 9x squared we will get. That is important. This what we are getting, that is uh, whatever we will get, that we will write down. So minus 9x squared, minus 9x squared. And, and, and so once again, minus 3 we decided that we are going to multiply this entire thing. By minus 3, that minus 3 we should write down here, minus 3. Minus 3 we should write down. Alright? Minus 3. So minus 3, 3 is a 9, minus 9x squared. First we'll write down minus 9x squared. Minus 9x squared. And then after that, minus into minus plus, 3 to the 6, plus 6x. Plus... 6x and then minus 3 plus 5 multiply so 3 5 are 15 minus 15 so you are getting minus 15 minus 15 again now you as usual you subtract so when we subtract as you know we change minus will become plus plus will become minus minus will become plus now minus 9x square and now plus 9x square they cancel each other Minus now minus 6x six, six, and plus 6x six, six, they cancel each other and plus 15 and minus 18 that gives you minus 3 This gives you minus 3 am I right? Are you going to get minus 3? Yes 15 plus 15 and minus 18 minus 3 15 plus 3 is 18 minus 3 Okay So this is how we divide Now the quotient is 4x minus 3 the remainder is minus, some, sometimes you get remainder 0, if everything gets cancelled then you get 0. So in that case you will write down remainder is equal to 0. Here you are getting remainder minus 3. So then finally you can write down therefore, therefore quotient, right here quotient.
therefore quotient is equal to how much? 4x minus 3 and remainder is equal to remainder is equal to minus 3 this is your answer quotient is equal to 4x minus 3 and remainder is equal to minus 3 I hope things are very very clear so you have to do lots of practice do practice it's not difficult it's not difficult so hope things are very very clear and thank you so much thanks